The Portland Trailblazers got a big game one win over the Denver Nuggets over the weekend, 123-109, thanks to a monster game from Damian Lillard and some hot shooting from the Blazers. Joining me now, Mike Richmond from Locked On Blazers. And Mike, this is a, a, a series that broke right for the Blazers in that they get a Nuggets team that is not 100%. Guess what? They're not going to give the wins back. So what is your expectation of this team now moving forward? Well, like you said, I think this is a really good matchup for them. Uh, I don't... The Nuggets probably are going to struggle to put a team to, on the floor that can defend Damian Lode and CJ McCollum at all as and also score on the other end. Uh, the Blazers are going to play them straight up. Like we saw how they're going to guard Nikola Jokic. They're going to just say, you score, you eat, you do whatever you want. And we are going to deny everyone else and try to just say, if it's you and MPJ, we think that's 100 points if both of you get super hot and you're going to need 120 to beat us and we're still going to win. Uh, I think this is a, a series that people pick the Blazers to win for a reason. And you saw in game one why they should be, why, you know, the good people at Bet Online think this is a team that can win. <laughs> uh, so let's say they win. And we're, we're putting the cart way before the horse. Certainly are. But let's say that they do win this series. What is this team capable of? Because we saw them make a somewhat surprising Western Conference Finals run, but it seems like. This is a West that is pretty wide open. Certainly, certainly does. Um, the Lakers look human. You know, I, I wouldn't want to pick, I wouldn't want to pick any team, including the Phoenix Suns, as good as they look today. But I wouldn't want to pick any team against LeBron James, quite frankly, after the last two decades of basketball. So I wouldn't say that the Blazers would be favored against the Lakers. Um, I think it's a better matchup for them against the Suns. But either way, who if if they beat Denver, um, a thing that we're a long way away from, as you mentioned, I don't think they'd be favored in, in the next series, regardless of the opponents. Um, the Nuggets are a good matchup. LeBron James, not a good matchup. Uh, and the Suns, if they win, they're just a really good basketball team. And you just if you have have to go into Phoenix and win there, that's tough. Uh, the Blazers look. You don't apologize. You don't give the wins back for playing a team that you match up well against. But um, the same goes for a team that you don't match up well against, which they might meet in the next round. So what is it going to take then? What is it going to take for this Portland team to make that surprise run? Because it does seem like when I mean, we saw the Clippers go down, they, they're a team that I, if you're going to pick a quote unquote sleeper, they might be someone that you would look at. I think we sleep on the Jazz because they're in Utah. Um, don't let David hear this. But, but I'm looking at this going, Damian Lillard is one of the five or eight best players in basketball. CJ McCollum is a terrific player. Yusuf Nurkic is, is a unique big man who can do a lot of different things to help you win. Why not Portland? Yeah, I mean, they have been since Yusuf Nurkic has been healthy and Norman Powell was acquired the trade deadline. They've been the number one offense in the NBA. That is a better offense than that trio in Brooklyn. Uh, the trio in Brooklyn is a very good, that is a that is a quality trio there with KD and <laughs> James Harden and Kyrie Irving. I'm not sure the Blazers have that quality, but they've been really freaking good on offense. And if that's what it takes, like if they can get into shootouts and get into, they don't even have to be shootouts. They've been a little bit better from one of the worst defenses in the league to a bottom 10 defense or like 20th in defense. If they can be okay on defense and a lead on offense, yes, with the right matchups and a little bit of luck that you don't need to apologize for, they could make a run because they really have been closing in on now six or seven weeks, the best offense in the NBA. That's what you're looking at. Is there any part of you that's going, look, Jamal Murray is hurt and the you know the Nuggets are just not not the same team that they would have been. And so I just I don't I don't want to take too much away from one game in a series where, to your point, a lot of pick, people are picking them to win. Yeah, I mean, the, my natural pessimism wants to make me say, like, yeah, even if P.J. Dozier was healthy, this would be a whole different freaking series, um, for sure. I, absolutely. Um, this Nuggets team doesn't have a lot of starting NBA caliber guards on the roster. With all due respect to Shaquille Harrison and Facundo Campazzo and Austin Rivers and Marcus Howard, um, I'm sure some listeners don't know who all of those gentlemen are. Um, and I didn't even throw I'm out. I'm pretty sure you made up at least one of those people. <laughs> exactly. But like this, they're beating a team that's undermanned. Um, this isn't, you know, and they beat them one time. They need three more. Um, this isn't maybe, you know, I'm not planning the parade or whatever. Uh, although I'm sure Damian Lord is familiar with where the route would go. 